Hello, welcome. Uh, my name is Jason Moyer, and in this video we'll be talking about how do vaccines work. And before we talk about how vaccines actually work, I think it's important that we talk about what exactly a vaccine is and how they are different from each other. That way you can have a better understanding of how exactly they do work. What is a vaccine? A vaccine is the intentional stimulation of your body's natural immune system. And vaccines work by uh, mimicking what happens when you are uh, infected by a virus or a bacterium without actually causing you to become sick. And we'll get back to that point again here in a few minutes. Now vaccines are also the most effective means of controlling infectious diseases. So the more vaccines that you have, the more protected you are. The more vaccines a population has in general, the more protected that population will be. And there are four main types of vaccines. We'll talk about each class uh, briefly so you can see the differences between the four. Uh, the first one uh, called live virus vaccines. Uh, the second one is uh, in inactivated or killed vaccines. Uh, third is toxoid vaccines. And lastly, uh, biosynthetic or also called conjugate vaccines. All right, our first group, we'll talk about the live virus vaccines. Uh, these use the weakened form, also called the attenuated form of the virus. So you're actually getting the virus that makes you sick with that disease, but it's very weakened in a very, very weak form. Uh, some common examples of a vaccine like this, um, measles, mumps, and rubella, the MMR vaccine, and also the chickenpox vaccine or the varicella uh, vaccine. Those are common examples of live virus vaccines. Now there are uh, pros and cons to a vaccine like this. Uh, the pros, uh, these tend to last for decades. So that means you don't need to get as many boosters as often. So less boosters means less shots. So less shots, no, the better. Uh, the downside of these type of vaccines, because you are getting a live virus, if it hasn't been weakened enough, it can mutate to the point you actually get the disease you're trying to be vaccinated from, which defeats the whole purpose. But this is a very rare occurrence. It's not that common at all. So this is a small con compared to the, the strength and the longevity of the vaccines. So these are really, really good vaccines. Uh, next class, the inactivated vaccines. Uh, these are made from a protein or another small piece of the bacterium or the virus itself. Uh, common example is the flu vaccine. Uh, pros and cons for this type also. Uh, the pros, because it is inactivated, there's no possible way it can mutate to give you that disease because it is a essentially a dead organism. It can't mutate and become alive again. The downside is these vaccines only last for a couple years at the most. So that means you have to get more boosters more often. Uh, next type, uh, toxoid vaccines contain a toxin or a uh, chemical made by the bacterium or by the virus. And these vaccines actually make you immune to the harmful effects of the infection, not the infection itself. And that's how these uh, viruses and these bacteria that fall into this category, that's how they make you sick. You're not becoming sick because you're being infected by them. You're becoming sick due to the chemicals that they make once they're inside your body already. Some common examples of these uh, types of toxoid vaccines, uh, tetanus and uh, diphtheria. And the last class of vaccines, biosynthetic or conjugate vaccines. These contain a man-made substance that are very, very similar to the actual bacterium or the actual virus itself. What usually happens is you're taking a very small protein and wrapping it in a, a sugar-based substance so your body can recognize that as that bacterium or as that virus. And a common example of this is the Hib virus, the H influenza type B. This is how that, what that stands for. Now, the point of the video, how do vaccines work? Uh, vaccines basically teach your body how to defend itself by exposing your body to the, or to a small and safe amount of an infectious agent, like a virus, like a bacterium but they have been altered, so they can't make you sick. So your immune system begins to recognize what can make you sick, so it knows what to go out and to attack. 
And this second bullet point is probably the most important in this whole video. Your immune system is very, very specialized, very, very specific. It needs to know what it has to go out and hunt and attack so you don't get sick. And that's what vaccines do. They present your body with targets so your immune system can go out and know what to go after so that you cannot become sick afterwards. Uh, the immune system is very, very complex, very involved, also very fascinating at the same time, but we'll boil it down to just a few uh, key points here. Uh, the immune system, uh, some parts of it will make a substance called antibodies, and some of it will make uh, types of cells called memory cells. Now, the antibodies are very, very specific for the virus it's attacking or the bacterium it is attacking. Uh, memory cells that are made act as a type of database so your immune system is going to keep a record of everything it's been exposed to your entire life. So as you can see, both of these are going to be very important. If your body is exposed to a virus or bacteria that your, your immune system has already seen in the past, the immune response will be much faster and much stronger the second time around than it would have been the first time around. So this much more aggressive response prevents you from getting sick from something you've already fought in the past. So for example, if you've uh, received the uh, vaccine for the mumps as a kid, if you were to run into that disease later on, your immune system knows that what it is, knows how to fight it, and will go after it much stronger and much more effectively the second time around. So the end result is, because you've been vaccinated for it, you don't get sick from that disease again. And here's a very simplistic uh, image of how this works. Even though the picture does say uh, virus and antibodies, this works in principle for a bacterium also. Uh, a standard image of a virus. These Y-shaped structures are antibodies. And what will happen is these antibodies will go all the way around and coat the entire virus or the entire bacterium. And these antibodies serve as markers, basically markers for death, until other larger cells in the, in the immune system come by and eliminate and neutralize these viruses and eliminate these bacteria. So if these are eliminated, then you don't get sick. So the more antibodies you have, the faster they respond, the less likelihood that you become sick. And that, in a very broad shell, very generic broad shell is how vaccines work. You are basically getting an introduction to your immune system to a target that your body will go after and hunt down later on. So thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed it.